Like, sure, oh, but I God. will say, like, with my first kid, um, after I had my my first baby, I miss I misdiagnosed myself with postpartum, mm-hmm. um, because I thought that's what I was going through. But what I was really going through, and what everybody does go through when they have their first kid, and they turn from a you know single person that cares about themselves to a mom Mm -hmm. uh you do have definitely a identity like shift or like a part of yourself dies like that part that only cares about themselves and can do whatever they want and like really you know possibilities are endless whatever yeah um and you're friends with whoever you want and blah 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 but like that dies and it is you definitely mourn it for a little bit and the joy of having your kid is like coinciding with it so you're not just in a pit of despair you shouldn't be anyways but um if you are that's probably postpartum but you definitely have um you have this moment of like saying goodbye to who you were and i think that's natural, really though. really hard for people was really really hard for me but when you come out on the other side of that you definitely feel so much better you're just a different person like mm-hmm. you're never ever If you say, like, I'm just nothing's really going to change. I'm going to do everything the same, right? Which I've heard from people. Oh, I I was hoping that would be the thing, but I realized it wasn't going to. It's not, but it's, like, a better version of that, Mm -hmm. right? Like, no, you can't be the same person, do all the same things, ride the motorcycle every day, put the baby on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But you, you can be even better. It's just that realization takes... It for me, it took like six months. Did it to get to like a point me, of like yeah? Because we are I'm just very independent with, people. I say I'm being realistic with myself here. Yeah, because I'll be honest. Like I'm as I'm starting to really slow down my military career. Um, part of me is like really excited because you know I can sit there and be like, well, this is a new venture yeah. and we're doing this so that we can have a family. Yeah, we're doing this to slow things down so I'm not gone all the time. And we're not like both deployed and whatever. However, <laughs> I'll see like my buddies yeah. jumping and doing the things. And yep. I have FOMO. Like, oh, I'm like, I still do. Like, I still will sometimes look at stuff like yeah. from my friends back in the day or like people that aren't still aren't married, still don't have kids, still are doing like the acting thing or making movies. And I'm just like, you know, if you play the tape till the end, you really don't want to be there. Mm-hmm. But correct at that moment, mm-hmm. it's like, mm. And you will always have that and just don't let it get you it. I let I didn't have anyone to talk to about it, but it let it get me really down and Mm -hmm. then thought I had postpartum. And it's really not. I think it's just a normal morning of your self that you used to be. And you will get back to whatever that new self is going to be. But, you know. They say like give yourself a break, right? But it is—it's hard. It is we're, true. I did not know this. Worst critics. Like, I did not know this. And, yeah. I didn't have. I didn't listen to anybody about it. I couldn't. I didn't talk to anyone about it. So, if anybody's feeling like that out there, yeah, you know. I mean, I've heard girlfriends before tell me that after they've had kids, that they've <laughs> they've felt really bad and they've kicked themselves so much for not feeling like the super maternal bliss of oh, like. Yeah. Did not feel bad. Like, I'm so in Mm -mm. love with you. And some of them are like, is there something wrong with me? No. Should I be feeling this way? No. And I'm sitting there going, you know what? I feel like everyone's experience is so super unique. And I don't think anyone could sit there and go, no, you're wrong. Like, your feelings, like, no one's feelings should be wrong. Like, if that's how you feel, like, then that's fine. There is, like, there is a, there are symptoms of postpartum. Look at the most severe ones if you feel like you have it. Like, look at, like, wanting to harm yourself or your kid, thinking, oh, like, yeah. thoughts of, like, abandonment, like, abandoning them or whatever, like, fantasies, things like this. So there, look at the most extreme, but the sadness part, the, like, all that, you know, that that stuff is, it's just going to be there. Mm-hmm. It's just a part of, like, your joy and your sadness of losing yourself. Second kid, not so much. It's just like, fuck this. This is <laughs> insane. Like, and you what know. I just have a second one. But you know that you're going to get over it, right? So I'm just like, just make it through six months, right? So you yeah. know you know the, the milestones, right? So you're like, okay. When you have your first kid, you're like, this is never going to end. This is going to be my life forever. I'm just going to have a crying a, baby. I, like, I know that once I have a kid, I'm going to be talking to you and all my friends with kids. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plot. Move on, every girl I'm moving on
Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes.